Hi everybody! In this second lesson, we will discover the art of selection in Excel. Of course, you know that the selection in any program you are manipulating is an essential step in order to apply the changes you are willing to do. For example, in Word, if I want to modify the size of a word, I should select it, then proceed in modifying the size, the font, or the color. Same rules apply for Excel. So let us start by showing you some selection techniques. 1. To select the entire worksheet. Click on the Sheet Selector icon. It is located at the top left corner of the sheet. 2. To select an entire row or column, click on its header. Look how I select column B. Then column F. And how I select row 3. Then row 7. 3. In order to select consecutive cells, see how I select the first cell, then I move my selection in the different directions. 4. In order to select non-consecutive cells, I press and hold the control key, then I start selecting the cells I want. Now let us move and start learning how to format a table. Formatting a table means creating borders for the cells and changing its color. Let us proceed by an example. 1. I select a set of cells. From B2 until F10. 2. From the menu Home, I click on the icon Borders. 3. I select More Borders. 4. I choose the style of the borders. 5. And I start applying the borders as you show. 6. See how the borders are set to the table. 7. Now if you want to apply a new bottom border for the first row, select the first row in the table and press again on the button Borders. Choose the option More Borders. Choose a new style and apply it to the desired border as shown. If you want to change the color of a cell, click on the button Fill Color. As you can notice, all the columns and rows have the same width and height. In case you write content in a cell that overflows on the other column, you can adjust the width column manually by clicking on the intersection of the two columns and moving the mouse to the right. It is possible to adjust it automatically by double-clicking on the intersection of the two columns. Now it is your turn to launch Excel and to create a table formed of five columns and ten rows. The columns are named Day, Product, Quantity, Unit Price, Total Price. The table should look like this. Apply the formatting of your choice and then fill the table with the information as shown. The first three rows for Monday. The row 4 and 5 for Tuesday. The row 6 for Wednesday. And the row 7 to 10 for Thursday. Once you finish, save the workbook, since we will be using it in the next lesson. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and do not forget to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.
in order to access to additional educational resources.